We did it. We officially hit a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. You are looking at a very green member of the YouTube Partner Program. And I'm still figuring all this out on the fly. I barely know what I'm doing, but one thing is crystal clear to me. I could not have done this without your support. In this video, we'll take a little time to reflect on the journey so far, but the primary focus will be to tell you guys what's in store for the channel. And the title wasn't clickbait here, you guys. I've been holding back some of my best ideas so far. I didn't want to reveal too much about myself until I knew that I loved the process of making these videos. And I can safely say that you're stuck with me for the long haul. Let's talk about what this means moving forward. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Jeff Teeples and blah, blah, blah. Like, subscribe, and do the things. Let's fill the rest of this time with one more big thank you for all your support, and let's go. The Journey to 1000. I've wanted to help people with their personal finances for many years. It's a natural desire that I can't control, and it's always energized me to see the people around me succeed. So naturally, I waited until I had a wife, two kids, and a house mortgage before I quit my job cold turkey. I dropped my notice on my last company out of the clear blue. And I enjoyed many of the aspects of my job as a financial analyst and planning manager. I had an amazing accounting team to work with and I truly do miss them. Shout out to any of you watching right now. I left my cozy six figure corner office job before I released a single YouTube video. You're probably sitting over there thinking that was a crazy decision. Well, I'd like to rebuke that with, well, everyone, agrees with you. I agree with you. That was a really crazy decision. And as a person with next to zero social media presence outside of LinkedIn, which is what the cool kids use, I was pretty concerned about building momentum for this new channel. I'm going to save additional details for a future video that I'll let you know about in the next section. But for now, let me just quickly touch on bits and pieces of the journey so far. So for my fellow nerds out there, it took me about five months and 24 videos to hit the partner threshold. So my first and still biggest breakout video was actually the fifth video I ever made. It was about SCHD. I'll never forget it. I was leaving town for a fishing trip with my best friend and my dad. It was on a Thursday, the SCHD video is just released and I think it had 14 views or something like that. And I sarcastically told them, you guys, this is the one, we're going big. When we got back to town on Saturday, I busted out my iPhone and opened the YouTube studio app and it said 1.7K views. And so first thing I looked at it, I thought, okay, I'm gonna hard reset this app to fix this presumed bug. And after getting over my mild heart attack, when I saw that it was real, I knew that I was never looking back. I could talk about this stuff for hours and hours, but just bear with me for one more, less flattering story from the early days of YouTube before we dive into my new video ideas. So it's a bit embarrassing to admit this, but I recorded my first YouTube video five times before I got it right. Apparently I hadn't heard about this brand new technology called video editing. Now the first couple takes, I sucked. The third one, I did a pretty good job and the camera died towards the end and I lost all the footage. Now on the fourth try, you guys, I nailed it. Finally, fourth time is a charm. I absolutely smashed it out of the park. And as I was sitting there kind of brushing my shoulders off, I noticed something was a little off with the setup. I kind of didn't plug the mic into the camera. So yeah, all in all, not the greatest start to my YouTube career, but I hope some of my new ideas will help us create some better memories in the future. Future video ideas. I plan to continue releasing videos that are on brand with what you've seen so far to this point. The primary difference will be that I've decided to go into full transparency mode. Being authentic was my number one priority since day one. I see so many other YouTube channels that are chasing the current fads for views. And look, I wanna grow my channel as well, but I wanna do it the right way. And more importantly, I wanna show everyone out there that I do practice what I preach in my videos. And also, I've made plenty of mistakes along the way, you guys. I wanna share my shortcomings with you to help you reach your version of financial freedom with less hiccups. Here are three big ideas for videos that I plan on releasing in the coming months. And keep in mind, these are working titles. Idea number one, how I made my first million and my full background. I would love to say I've been perfect, but I have plenty of what not to do's to share with you. I also did a few things right along the way. 
I wanna share my full background about where I came from and where I'm going so we can build a genuine community here. I'm not here to look perfect and tell everyone how smart I am. I'm here to share what I do know, learn from your ideas, and improve together. Idea number two, I quit my $170,000 job with no backup plan. This working title looks like clickbait 101, but in reality, it is exactly what it is. I'll walk you through my career progression, my decision process of leaving, and the pros and cons that I had on paper compared to how they've played out so far. My situation isn't going to be the exact same as yours, but the point of this video is more inspirational. I know there's something you've been thinking about starting or putting on the back burner that requires you to just go. We only get one shot at this thing, so take it. Idea number three, revealing my, insert dollar amount here, portfolio. I have zero need for an internet flex. There are many 20 year olds that are running circles around me right now and there are people in their 70s that my portfolio is outdoing. It truly doesn't matter where you are. I want to help everyone at every stage. Revealing my portfolio will allow me to show that I practice what I preach. I'll be able to share my specific moves and why I made them. I'm really here out of passion, you guys. And of course, I want this thing to be profitable long-term. So I'm going to work hard and do things the right way. And it will be fun to grow together with full transparency along the way. The end game. I don't have a specific goal for this channel or really for my life, to be honest. I think we tend to get fixated on specific goals. And then we realize that crossing the finish line changes nothing. You know, things like, once I get this job promotion, then I'll be happy. Goals and money are overrated, says the guy that's making a YouTube channel about personal finance. I, I get it. But what I'm passionate about is freedom and living a life that's true to ourselves, maximizing our time here to do the things we love doing with the people we love. And the truth is, we all need money to reach our version of freedom. Different portfolio needs for different lifestyles but it's a universal concept. I think we'll be happier if we focus on enjoying the journey along the way. Studies have consistently shown that the most common deathbed regrets are, I wish I lived as my true self and not what others want me to be. I wish I wouldn't have worked so hard. And I wish I spent more time with friends and family. I may have gotten a little too deep and philosophical in this video, but I really do hope that at least one part of it resonated with you. And if not, stick around for more personal finance. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going anywhere. So check out one of these two videos if I haven't scared you away yet. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really am a little extra excited right now for the channel's future. I'm hyped, I appreciate you. I will see you every single Thursday, sometimes on a Sunday. Peace.